Okay, so in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to add and remove members from a team. So from the previous lesson, I had created, you recall, I created a, a team um, called Human Resources, and that team, the purpose of that team was to review the policy and procedure documents for the organization. So I'd created the team, but I had not added any members to the team because at the time I created the team, I did not know who would be involved, who would be involved in this in this project. So now, um, a few days later, I worked out who the who the who will be working with me in this project. So all I need to do is add the members to the team, the individuals. So to do that, I'm just going to go to my Microsoft Teams. A very good feature as well, as you can see, you can hide and and um, and make your teams visible. This is a very this is a collapsible view over here. So you can see if I just click on the arrow there, it then brings up all my teams. And any hidden teams as well are unhidden. So just a little sidetrack, but as you can see, that's that's a very good feature of Teams as well. Kind of makes the, the interface neater. So I'm just going to expand my teams now. And I'm going to go to the human resources one. And just to remind myself, you can see there's the policies channel which is private with a padlock and there's a procedures channel. So to add in a member to the team, I click on the on the three op more options next to the name, a sub menu appears. I just click on add member. Then I just need to start typing the name of the individual I want to add to the team. So I've got Thomas Edison, the inventor, as you all know. Obviously he is not this is just a, a an alias account. So Thomas Edison, then I click on add. Now he can either be a member or an owner. The difference between a member and, and, and an owner is that an owner in Teams will has the ability to add and remove individuals from a team and also has the ability to set additional features within um configure the team a, bit, a little bit further. For example, you can secure the, the, um, the channel. So for example, the policy channel, I made that a bit more secure because I was um, an, an owner. So you can apply those kind of additional settings, which I'll, I'll go over in, in future lessons. Um, but apart from that, you know, a member and an owner, they can do all the key things that you would want they can add documents, they can review documents, they can join team meetings, they can co-author all the features, all the, the, the very good features that comes with Teams, um, the users will be able to do that. If only It's only if you want that individual to be able to manage who can access the team, you know, who to manage removing people from that team, to manage the permissions of the channels within the team, then you would set him as an owner. So I'm going to set Thomas as a member. And there we have the once I've done that, I just click on close. And you can see over there, the little timestamp, Tita Tang, I have added Thomas Edison to the team. So this little general tab, it's a good um, audit trail to see what has happened in the team. So previously I was adding and removing some users as part of my prep for this course. Um, so you can see technology never lies, but that's great. You know, you want to be able to see what has happened in the past. So I've just added Thomas to the team now, and you'll see that he would then be able to access the general and the, pol and the procedures. Now, he won't be able to access the policies channel because that's a, um, a private channel. So in order to allow Thomas to access the um, policies channel, I'd need to specifically go to that channel and add him to it. So you'll see if you select policies, click on the three options, three buttons, the sub menu appears and you can see I've got the option to add members. If I was to go to the procedures, that's not a private channel. So I don't have the option to add members because by default, anyone I've added to the to the team will have access to that channel. But because policies is a private channel, the, the, you're, you're required to specifically go to that channel and add the individual to it. So I'm going to go in there, click on more options, click add member. And now there's Thomas, click add. And I'm going to keep him as a member as well. And, 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 and in that case, so now what you'll see is that Thomas will have access to the policies, 
and the, uh, to the policies channel, which is a private channel, as well as the other ones. Now, if I wanted to remove Thomas from, the, from a channel, all I would do again is similar thing, select the channel, click on the three options, go to um, manage channel this time, and then go to members and guests, and you can see Thomas is there, and all I have to do is click on the X button, and he's out, and he's no longer in the policies channel. To remove Thomas from the team, I'd have to go to the more options under the team heading, or next to, I should say, click manage team. And over here, click on the X button to remove him. You'll see from the timestamp time stamp as well in the order trail, you'll see that it's appeared, it's updated now. You can see Thomas Edison has been removed from, from the team. So that's how you would add and remove users from a team. Bear in mind, when you add a user to a team, if that team has got private channels, you need to specifically go to the channel and perform the exercise of adding the individual to the team. Equally, for removing someone from a team, or from a, from a channel. If it's a private channel, you'd need to go to the channel and specifically remove that user. And then to remove them from the team, you just go to the main teams area, click on the more options, manage team and remove the user that way. Thank you very much.